Welcome everyone. Today in Microsoft Excel, we will learn all about filters. So let's start. Filter helps to display records that meet certain criteria. First, we will learn number filter. This filters your Excel data if you only want to display value records that meet certain criteria. Now this is the data we will be using. In the home tab, under sort and filter option, select filter option. Now you can see a filter applied on the first row. Click on the sales filter. Click on the number filters option, then go down to the greater than option. This is the default filter layout. Enter the value 10,000 and press OK. Now you can see only sales values that are greater than $10,000. In this way, you can try all these options. Keep practicing. Practice makes everyone perfect. If you have any questions, write it in the comments below and I will reply to them as quickly as I can. Next, we will learn text filter. This filters your Excel data if you only want to display text records that meet certain criteria. This is the data we will be using. Under the filter last name, click on text filters option. Then on equals option. In the text box, enter the text question mark M asterisk. Then press OK. Now question mark M asterisk means it will display only those last name having only one character before M and can have any number of characters after M. This is the result. It displays those last name having only one character before M and have any number of characters after them. Next, we will learn date filter. Now, this filters your Excel data if you only want to display date records that meet certain criteria. Click on the filter date. By default, all dates are selected. Select only the first few dates. Now this is the result. To view all the dates again, click on select all. In this way, you can try all these options. Keep practicing. If you have any questions, write it in the comments below and I will reply to them as early as possible. Next, we will learn Advanced Filter. This filters your Excel data if you only want to display records that meet criteria from the link table. Now, above the original table, we have another table with country and quartered column. It will be used to filter the original table. Now, in the Data tab, under sort and filter group, select the advanced option. Now, the list range is the original table range which will be automatically selected. The criteria range is the new table. Select it by dragging your left mouse pointer from A1 till D2 and press OK. 
Now this is the filter data. If the criteria is changed, the criteria range will also change. This is a filter data. Next, we will learn formula criteria. This filters your Excel data. If you only want to display records that meet the formula in the linked table. Add this formula in E2. This formula means that the value in B6 is more than 10,000. Hence, the result in the cell is true. Now, in the data tab, under sort and filter group, select advanced option. The criteria range in the new table. Select A1 till A3 and press OK. This is the filtered data. If the value in B6 is less than 10,000, the result in the cell is false. The criteria range is the new table. So select A1 till E3 and press OK. This is the filtered data. To get back the data, click on clear in the sort and filter group. The entire data is back. Next, we will learn remove duplicate. This filters your Excel data from any duplicates. Select the data. Now in the tab data inside data tool group, click on remove duplicate. Now select the column from which you want to remove duplicate. We will select only the country column. Now this dialog box will show how many duplicates are removed and unique rows that are remain. This is the result. If all the columns are selected, this is the message. Let's select only two columns. According to this, the message will be as follows. And this will be our result. Next, we will learn outlining data. This filter makes your data easier to view. In the following example, we will total the rows of related data and collapse a group of columns. This is the table. Filter the data by column quarter. In the data tab, inside the outline group, click on subtotal. At each change in select quarter, the function will be count. The subtotal will be country. This is the result, which means each time the quarter changes, the number of countries are counted. We can compare it to the original data. Now, to collapse groups, click on the minus signs. Once you have clicked on the minus signs, this shows the summary of count of each quarter. Now to group columns, select two columns, column A and column B. In the outline group, click on group option. Now to collapse the column, click 
on the minus sign next we will learn about subtotal this function can be used instead of sum count max etc to ignore values that are hidden by filters or manually hidden rows now apply filter on all columns take the total you can see the total of all sales is around 230000 us dollars now apply filter usa to the country column you can see even though the row have been reduced the total has not changed it is still around 230000 us dollars now to display the exact total of all the filtered sales in place of sum formula we will be using subtotal formula now in subtotal formula 109 is the function for sum now the formula is subtotal open bracket 109 comma b3 to b18 and close bracket this is the total sales of the filtered row which has been reduced next we will see to manually hide rows and apply subtotal to it this is the sum of the values in the above cells now to hide the entire row manually take a mouse pointer on the row number numeric 3 click on remove 3 now right click on the mouse and click on hide the value can be seen is not changed even though the row is hidden now in place of sum we will apply subtotal when we apply subtotal formula the value has changed and this is the updated value keep practicing practice will make you perfect if you have any question write in the comment below and i will reply to it as quickly as i can Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, like and share with others. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you all next week.